This is the story of the future, that is of 2040, where eight scientists are sent to the planet Mars for research. And this was the first mission sent from the Earth, so that they can find out if life was ever possible here or it could be. It's been six months for them here, and now they have one day left, after which they will leave to go back to the ground. Now here the rover, that is, the car of Mars, the scientist Vincent and his companions were sitting in it, who were going to take a biologist with them. But then a big sin storm comes, but they do not panic, because the rover is made so that it can withstand such a storm. They came out of the storm and came to their biologist, who was checking the soil samples at this time, but she did not get anything. She was very angry that it has been six months since we have been doing research here, but we have not found anything yet. Then they all get a message from the main base station, which was made all around the station Mars. The message was that we are sending a spaceship to take you all in a while, so everyone gets ready. But here a scientist named Marco tells his captain that I want to go out, on which the captain asks why do you want to go out now? The mission is closed when nothing is found here, on which Marco says that I had put a device on Site 9 of Mars, which is not working, so I want to go and fix it. Hearing this, the captain was very surprised about what he has to do by fixing the device. But still, he agreed, saying that okay, go, but not alone. Take your companion with you, and yes, come back before night. Now they were about to leave from here. That's when Vincent, his companion, and the biologist also came. The three of them tried to talk to him, where Marco said that it is getting late. I am in a hurry. I have to go and fix the device anyway and the biologist was very surprised that Marco is in such a hurry to fix a device. She doubted, so she checked Marco's computer, and what she saw was very surprising. Actually, Marco had found life forms on Site 9 of Mars, that is, some living samples, from which it was found that life can be possible here, which everyone was very surprised to see that Marco went after making an excuse to fix the device. Why didn't he tell us this? Then after talking a little more, they realize that he wants to take all the credit of this research. That's why he went there in such a hurry. Now knowing this, the captain calls to Marco's rover, where Marco's companions picks up the phone, because he was inside, while Marco was outside, because he was still testing on the site. He takes the soil, after testing it. Such samples were really found by him, which could have made life possible here. Seeing the success, Marco is very happy. He was about to tell his companion, but the place where Marco was standing the soil gets stuck below, and he falls into a very big hole, which these people had made by digging this. Seeing this, his companion was very nervous. He quickly gets down and comes out. He immediately told his base about this. After a while the captain comes with his companion, who was a doctor, and because she was Marco's good friend, she gets angry at his companion, that why didn't you do anything to save him from falling? And she tells the captain that you should go down as soon as possible to save Marco, on which the captain said that this hole is very deep, and I don't think Marco will be saved by falling from such a height, and we have no arrangement to go down. We will first go to our base. From there we will contact the main station, and then come back here, after which we will also go to the hole to save Marco, on which the doctor says that you both go to the base. I will stay here, because I think that by the time we come back, it will be too late, and I will somehow try to go down. Now the captain agreed to her words, so he and Marco's companion come back to the base. First, they tell the people here and then at the station. Then the station people say that you take your tools etc. and try to find Marco if he is alive. Then it is a good thing, but if he is dead, then bring the dead body. After which we will bring this life form discovery of Marco to front of the world. Now, Marco's companion and biologist stayed at this base, while the captain takes the rest and leaves for Site 9 at the same place. There, the doctor tries to see inside the hole, but she can't see because there was smoke like steam coming out of there. So she comes back in the rover and sits, but then she started hearing voices from outside, as if someone is trying to come inside the rover. Now she went out to check, but what she saw, she was very nervous, and then she to scream loudly. Now no one knows what she saw because the screen goes black here. Now, the captain also reaches here with his companions. Now the captain and Vincent started looking inside the hole, while the other two scientists go inside the rover so that they can call the doctor. But when they check the whole rover, they don't find the doctor anywhere, so they guess that somehow, she must have gone inside the hole to save Marco, after which they tie Vincent with a rope and start sending him into the hole. 
Now when he comes to the bottom of this hole, he finds a strange thing here, which was actually a living bacteria, which was growing fast on the stones. This thing seemed strange to Vincent, so for the time being, without paying attention to it, he starts looking for Marco and the doctor, but he does not find them anywhere, so he comes out. Now his companion pilot tells that I have seen the footprints of two people who are going towards our base, which surprised the captain a lot because there was no one here except Marco and the doctor, so it is certain that the footprints are of them. But even if Marco had survived and the doctor had taken him out, then why did they not go in the rover? Anyway, there is an alert type in the base that someone is coming towards their base. Then the biologist and Marco's companion check so Marco's companion went to open the door, when he saw through the hole, there was Marco, then he opens the door and puts him inside, but Marco's condition was not looking good, so his companion quickly takes off his helmet, but he was very scared to see that Marco's face has become very black, his skin has also become strange, and he does not look like a human at all, after which he loses his control, it acts his companion with a drill machine. After beating him, Marco had made him injured a lot, but still, at the right time, he rings the security alarm, from which the biologist came out to check, but then the doctor also came with Marco, she was also in the same condition, and here she also loses her control and attacks the biologist, and runs after her like a madman, but the biologist pushes her, hits her with her legs and throws her away, and somehow she had locked both of them in her room, it was clear that the footprints were of both of them but no one had an idea that how they had become strange like this. Now the captain also comes out with his companions. When he hears strange noises from the base, he stops his companions outside and goes inside the base alone to check what is the matter. He is very scared to see that there is blood everywhere, and the biologist was standing nervously outside the room in which he had locked them both. He also thinks that what happened to them, but he tells the biologist that we will have to get out of here quickly. They are looking very dangerous. Now the biologist came out of here, but when the captain was about to go, the door opens and Marco comes out, and he also attacks the captain, but he somehow saved his life and came out, but he was very injured. The captain and the biologist tell everyone about them. They were very scared to see the condition of Marco and the doctor. Now because the captain was very injured, these people took him to the second base quickly. He was laid down and Vincent's companions began to treat him. There was a doctor there. The captain tells her that I'm forgetting things in a strange way. I'm quite thirsty. Hearing this, the pilot gives him the water, but the captain loses his control and holds his neck. He was not leaving him even after many attempts. It means he is also becoming like Marco and the doctor. This is actually happening because of a virus, and its reason was the bacteria that was found in that hole, where Marco fell and he got infected from it. Whomever he attacks and bites, that human will also get infected by this virus. It means Marco might have bitten the doctor, and she became like him. This is how this virus spreads. They all were freeing the pilot from the captain. During this, this captain dies. So the biologist ties captain's hands and feet. By now, she understood that this virus is quite dangerous. The infected person gets alive and attacks again. Now, when they see on the screen, the place where Marco and the doctor were locked, they broke the door and came to the other room. If it happens and they are not stopped, they'll come here. Along with being dangerous, they have been powerful. Vincent gives them the idea that I'll go to the first room of the basement with underground pipe. Because it is quite dangerous to go from the main area. I'll run the system after going there. After contacting at the station, I'll tell them about the situation. So we can get help. So Vincent leaves, while his companion takes the captain's blood sample to check. That what is happening to all of them. After checking, she comes to know that all of this is happening because of the life form virus that Marco found from the top of Site 9 that was growing inside the bacteria hole because the main root of this virus was the life form due to which the bacteria became so dangerous that it started infecting them. First, it controls the human body and erases all memories and then completely controls the brain. Anyway, now people use their brains to change this virus a little and make an antidote and apply it to the captain to test him when they found out that it was working because the virus that was doubling in the captain's cells that process had now stopped it gave them a little peace of mind there vincent had reached the first room where he fixes the system and starts to send messages to the station but then the lights started turning off which stopped the system from turning on seeing this vincent goes out so that he can see the mess 
where he found out that Marco's companion, on whom Marco had attacked with a drill, had also become infected with this virus. He was making a mess in the main system. As soon as he sees Vincent, he starts running towards him. Seeing this, Marco and the doctor also started coming towards there. Now seeing Vincent's life in danger, his companions make a noise so that he comes back to their door. Seeing this, the biologist prays this antidote on them, which makes them weak and fall down. And by then Vincent also comes back to the room through the pipe where Marco's infected companion also came. Now here the biologists divert attention of Marco's companion to save their lives and tells them to go out. Now the pilot's companion was at the gate, so he felt that she is also infected. So he takes Vincent and his companion out and locks the biologist inside with Marco's companion who was infected, due to which the poor girl got stuck with him. And now these three start running out of that room where the infected Marco attacks Vincent's companion and injures him. Then these people took him to the rover in a wounded state. And here Vincent injects his companion so that nothing happens to him. Now these people remember that the power energy in this rover is low, but there is a lot of power in a rover standing on a sideline. So all of them are now going towards him. Meanwhile, they also noticed that our infected companions are also following us now. That means the antidote they made is not successful because it can only stop the effect of the virus for a while. It does not finish it completely. After a while, the effect of the virus happens again. There they reached the sideline. Vincent and his companion stop in this rover, while the pilot goes to take the other rover, where he contacts Vincent and says that your companion is infected. I can't take the risk of taking him with me. If you want to go with me to the place where the spaceship is coming to take them, then you will have to leave your companion. Vincent refuses that I can't do this. I will not come without her. So now the pilot came alone. He takes the rover and leaves. Vincent was very angry at this act of his, but still, he continued to move forward with his companion with this rover. Similarly, a storm came here again, and because it was night, they sleep here. When Vincent woke up in the morning, he saw that my companion got off the rover alone to save me, and now she is moving forward on foot. Because she knows that she is also infected, she does not want it to harm Vincent, so she go far away and try to kill herself. But Vincent followed her footprints by taking the rover behind her. At some distance, he finds her. So Vincent got off the rover to stop her and started running towards her. But to save him, she took off her helmet, because of which she started suffering a lot. Vincent quickly came and took care of her, but she dies in his hands. Vincent was very sad about this, but the next moment, his friend woke up infected, and she attacks Vincent, where Vincent attacks his companion with his helmet even though he does not want to. He hits her so much with the helmet that she dies. By then a ship had left the main station to pick them up. Vincent had seen it from a distance. He also sees that my infected companion is also present here. The companion pilot has also come here with another rover. Now Vincent tries to communicate inside the ship, but the people inside the ship can't hear his voice. Because of the distance, his voice was not coming into the transmitter. Vincent was able to hear the voices inside the ship. There were two people there. Seeing the ship coming, the three infected companions started moving towards it. The people of the ship also opened the door, thinking that these people are still alive, and the infected people attacked them. Vincent can hear the screams of the people on the ship. When he goes near, he sees that both the people on the ship have died, and their corpses are lying there. Now Vincent also saw Marco here, because the first person who was infected by this virus, his condition was very bad, because now only the bones were visible on his body. Anyway, Vincent gets on the ship. When he comes to the pilot cabin, he sees that the pilot was already present here, but now he is infected. Vincent looks at him and says that you are not going with me because we cannot take this virus to our world, Earth. Like my companion could not go, you are also not going now. On which the pilot says that no, I will go, because we'll find its treatment after going to the Earth, and thus the fight of both begins. In this fight, the pilot attacks Vincent with a knife, and he fainted there. Now the pilot starts the spaceship and started going towards the ground. Now in the meantime, Vincent came to his senses. He came from behind and started trying to stop him. He hits him with his helmet head and injures him. 
after which he opens the door and throws him into the sky. But now only a few minutes of patrol was left in this ship. After this, Vincent starts sending messages at the main station that it is very sad to say that our whole team is dead because of such a virus, which started here in life form and then spread to everyone. Now he tells that only a few minutes of patrol is left in this ship, but there is a lot to eat. I can wait until you come to save me, but I don't want to be saved because I think that now this virus has also come inside me. I failed to make an antidote because it only works for a while. Now I want to die so that the virus does not spread on the ground because of me. So please my advice is that you guys don't come to save me. And now he is alone. He started waiting for his death on this ship. Sitting alone, he started remembering the moments he spent here. He was very sad because of everyone's death and what was going to happen to him. And with his sadness, this film ends here.